Whether you're converting a fraction to a decimal or a percentage, the process is largely the same. Your goal is to create a denominator of 100 without changing the value of the fraction. Let's take a look at a few examples here. Let's take one-fifth. To convert the denominator to 100 without changing the value of the fraction, we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. The number that allows us to create a denominator of 100, in this case, is 20. So we'll multiply 1 fifth by 20 over 20. 1 times 20 is 20. 5 times 20 is 100. Now once you have your number over 100, all you have to do is write the numerator as a percentage. So 20 over 100 equals 20%. To write it as a decimal, you write the numerator with a decimal point following it, 20 point, and you move the decimal point two places to the left because your denominator is 100. So one, two, there's where your decimal point will be. And we'll put a zero in front of it so that we can recognize it as a decimal. Let's take one more example. 23 over 25. Now, to get your denominator to 100 in this case, we need to multiply on top and bottom by 4. So 23 over 25 times 4 over 4 is equal to 23 times 4 is 92. 25 times 4 is 100. So we've got it in our form we need, 92 over 100. So we can write it as a percentage, 92%, and as a decimal, 92. Move the decimal point two places to the left, right there, and add a zero. 